Hello friends, in today's lecture, we will be seeing some MCQs on type 2 problems of arithmetical reasoning test. We have already seen the type 1 and hopefully you have understood all the MCQs. Now, let us go for the type 2 problem. Students, let us go for the first MCQ of type 2. It says that 5 bells begin to toll together and toll respectively at an interval of 6, 5, 7, 10 and 12 seconds. So how many times will they toll together in one hour excluding that one at the start? So now students, we have to go for the LCM. LCM of which numbers? Hum konse numbers ka LCM nikalenge? Hum 6, 5, 7, 10 and 12 ka LCM nikalenge. Agar hum in numbers ka LCM nikale, to mujhe pata hai ki 6, 5, 7, 10 and 12 ka jo LCM hai, wo hota hai 420. So let me write down the steps. Since the LCM is 420, I will write that 420 is nothing but 7 minutes. So I can say that all bells will toll together exactly after 420 seconds or 7 minutes. So now students they have asked me how many times will they toll together in one hour excluding that one at the start. So we have already got 7 minutes to it and if we add the one hour or the first start we can say that we will have to add the 7 minutes plus 1 minute to it which is nothing but 8 minutes. So students, they have asked us that how many times will they toll together in one hour excluding that one at the start. So let me go further and give you the solution. So within one hour, all the bells will toll exactly eight times. And that is option B. Now students, they have said a student got twice as many sums wrong as he got right. If he attempted 48 sums in all, how many did he solve correctly? And the options are 12, 16, 24 and 18. So let us go for the solution. So students, they have said that a student has got twice as many sums wrong as he got right. So if I take the right sums to be as x, Or I'll put it down as right sums solved as x. And the student has got two times of the right sums which are wrong. So the wrong sums are 2x. And he attempted 48 sums in all. So I will add the right sums plus the wrong sums and that should give me 48. So I will write x plus 2x should give me 48. So I can say that 3x is equal to 48. Therefore x is equal to 16. Thus the answer to this question is 16 and that is option B. Now students for the next MCQ. It is given to us that Aruna cut a cake into 12 halves and cut one half into smaller pieces of equal size. Each of the small piece is of 20 grams in weight. If she has 7 pieces of the cake in all with her, how heavy was the original cake? So students, let's go for the first statement which says that Aruna cut a cake into 12 halves and cut one half into smaller pieces of equal size. So let me write down the solution. So they have told us that 7 pieces of cake have been cut as what? They have been cut as 6 smaller pieces and 1 half piece. So I will write 7 pieces is 1 half piece and 6 smaller pieces. Now the next one says each of the small piece is of 20 grams in weight. So we can say that the total weight of the 6 pieces is 6 multiplied by 20 which is 120 grams.
Now they have told us if she has seven pieces of the cake in all, how heavy was the original cake? So we know that the six pieces have given us 120 grams. So this six pieces were nothing but the half part. So I have to add the half part which is remaining as well. So we will go for 120 grams plus 120 grams that is 240 grams. So I will write full weight is nothing but 120 plus 120 which is 240 grams. And that is option C. So the answer to this question is option C which is 240 grams. Now let me go for the next MCQ. It says that a bird shooter was asked how many birds he had in the bag. He replied that there were all sparrows but six all pigeons by six and all ducks but six so how many birds had he in all so let us go for the solution so students in the bag we are having three types of birds and they are sparrows pigeons and ducks So now the first statement says that he replied that there were all sparrows but six. So which means that apart from sparrows he had ducks and pigeons which were six in number. So we can say that as per the next statement he says all pigeons by six and all ducks but six. So if you look at the first statement students, we can say that he replied that there were all sparrows but six. So we will exclude the sparrows from it and we know that we are having six birds which were ducks as well as pigeons but not sparrows. So we can say we, he had three ducks, three sparrows and three pigeons. So in total he had nine birds which are three ducks, three sparrows and three pigeons. So that adds up to 9 birds. So the answer to this question is option A which is 9. And now for the last MCQ. It says at the end of the business conference, the 10 people present all shake hands with each other once. How many handshakes will be there all together? And the options given to us are 20, 45, 55 and 90. So let me write down the solution. So students, they have asked us how many handshakes will be there all together. We know a simple formula which is nothing but n into n plus 1 the whole upon 2. So if I take the total number of people here are 9, I am not considering as 10 because they are total 10 people. So we will go for 9 into 9 plus 1 which is 10 and the whole upon 2. So we get the answer to be as 45 handshakes. So there were total 45 handshakes all together which is option B. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Informatica and do subscribe our channel.